Our verse for today is Acts 2.38. It comes at the conclusion of Peter's Pentecost sermon. More about that in a moment. And the verse is, Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. What happened on Pentecost, which we read about in Acts chapter 2, today's chapter, if you're reading along, is the Holy Spirit comes upon all the believers as they were gathered in one place. They all begin speaking in foreign languages. And the crowd that has gathered at the sound of the noise, they all hear the good news in their own native language. And Peter then preaches this bold sermon about how in Jesus Christ the scriptures are fulfilled and he is the Messiah, the one that we are to put our faith and our trust in for the forgiveness of our sins. And so Acts 2.38 is Peter's answer when at the end of his sermon, some of the people who were listening, it says they were cut to the heart, and they asked, what should we do? And Peter tells them several things. Repent. And that word in Greek means literally to turn around. Change the direction of your life. Stop going in the way that you were going, and begin to follow Christ instead. To repent is to turn from uh, our way of life or things we're doing, ways of thinking, with ways of speaking that are not God's way for our life. So we repent, we turn around, and we start to follow Christ. And after we repent, as we come to faith the first time, we are baptized. We share in the death and the resurrection of Christ, which is what baptism symbolizes. It is a public profession of our faith in Jesus Christ. And we are baptized in the name of Christ, and then we rise uh, to walk in newness of life. And in that act of baptism, there is that physical act of, as the water goes over our whole body, it's reminding us that our sins are also all washed away. And then after repenting, being baptized, being forgiven, we also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit empowers us. Remember in John's Gospel, Jesus promised that when he went away, he would send the Holy Spirit, the Advocate, the Counselor, the Comforter to be with us and to remind us of all that Jesus had taught. And so that all happens on Pentecost Sunday. So, how about you? Uh, if you've never taken that step of repenting and being baptized, uh, so that your sins may be forgiven and you can receive the power of the Holy Spirit, I hope you'll think about it. If you have, then thinking back to yesterday, I hope you'll be a witness to how Christ and God and the Spirit have changed your life. Have a great day.